SKS used to be a gun just for the first week or so of the wipe. Lack of modability and mainly not being able to put any sight or scope on the gun and being stuck with the iron sights or just small reflex sights on the front of the gun would make it really hard choice compared to its brother OPSKS with the dovetail mount. But in the newest patch, we got an update to this gun and bunch of new attachments for it. That brings this gun back to life once more. Hey everybody, Tron Crusher here, I hope a fantastic day full of joy and happiness, welcome to the channel. And in this video I'm going to check out the new SKS and to see if it's a good gun or not and if it's worth using. So without further ado, let's crush it. Now we are back, let's talk SKS. We still can get this gun at level 1 proper for 29 thousand rubles but at level one traders there's not much we can do and the build is pretty simple as you can see sks comes with 42 ergonomics 126 vertical recoil and 292 horizontal recoil at level one there's not much we can do to this gun we cannot add any muzzle or any sight or anything really to it the only thing we can change is to change our 10 rounder internal mag to 20 rounder external mag which you can buy it from peacekeeper for around 70,000 rubles but that's basically it at level one with this build the gun still looks and feels the same from before the rework this changes at level 2 traders. At level 2, you can build this gun a little bit more. Now you can add the muzzle like WT0032 with a DTK1 if you want to go loud with the best recoil from uh, this gear level 2 or you can add the DTK4M or even SKS hexagon suppressor to go suppress and this gun is one of the quietest guns if you go suppress in the game. Then we again can change our internal mag to a 20 round there and change our dust cover to the dust cover with the Picatinny rail on it. This is the biggest change to this gun. And this way you can add any of the sights you want. You can go with the normal reflex sights or you even can add your uh, variable zoom scopes like Thack 30 or Voodoo on top of it. These are usually really expensive. I rather to just go with something like the compact two times scope and as you can see here our ergonomics is 19 vertical recoil is 116 and horizontal recoil is 270 and as if you're wondering how much this is gonna cost you if you go here and take out the part that comes with the gun and we don't need as you can see the parts are 109,000 rubles with the gun and 85,000 rubles without the gun and it gets even better with level 3 traders level 3 trader builds is where this gun shine and we start from the muzzle i use the wt0032 again with the dtk4m suppressor on top of it if you're wondering why i'm using the dtk4m instead of the hexagon dtk4m has negative 19 loudness where the hexagon has negative 15 loudness so the dtk4m is quieter than the hexagon after that we want to change our magazine to sks 35 rounder magazine to have a bigger capacity magazine here and then we want to change our stock to fab defense uas stock this way we can add any of the ak style pistol grips we want i'm going to use the tapco saw here and uses the UAS SKS buttstock and then up front we can add any of the tactical devices you like I'm going to use the X400 and then you can change this uh, SKS cover to SKS MC gas tube cover for two better ergonomics and lastly we are changing our uh, dust cover to the rail dust cover and this is where it gets good you can use any of the sites you want again you can go with something like valde or even tag 30 if you want or l can anything you like you can use this gun or even just a normal reflex site but what i like to do is to use the compact two times scope because this way i have that a little bit longer range and capabilities and also still pretty good at the close range 
this is how the gun look like and the stats are 50 ergonomics 60 vertical recoil and 140 horizontal recoil with that being semi-automatic this gun feels like a laser beam and if you're wondering how much this is going to cost you if you go here to find parts and take out the parts that comes with the gun and we don't need as you can see it costs you 160,000 rubles without the gun and if you want to add the gun to it it's 190,000 rubles with this build i can say that this gun is very reliable and actually nice to use with the changes to the armor system, it's really hard to get our hands on good ammo since they are all mostly moved up to higher level traders or completely removed from traders. At level 2 Prapor, we have access to the 762 by 39 FMJ which has 26 pen and 63 damage. Not too good, but it's the best we can get at level 2. But at level 3 proper, we have access to the 762 by 39 PS after completing the task The Punisher Part 1. PS has 35 pen and 57 damage which has more than 90% chance to go through the level 2 and 3 soft armor. Also, you can find this ammo pretty easily on the scavs before you unlock level 3 proper. At last, if you have level 4 prop org, you can get the 762 by 39 PP, which is the best 762 you can get from traders this vibe. It has 41 penetration and 55 damage. This ammo should go through a class 4 plate with ease. Although OPSKS still has 0.03 better MOA and a bit faster muzzle velocity, it's not noticeable in action and it's also more expensive. With all these changes to the guns and mods, I personally don't see that much difference between the two guns anymore and I confidently say that SKS is now as reliable as OPSKS. But that also comes to personal preferences and let me know what you think of this gun down in the comment section. Thanks for joining me on this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and don't forget to ring the bell so you're not missing the future videos. Down in the comment section, let me know what you think of this gun. For more bite-sized contents and quick gun builds, check out my TikTok and to stay connected, join my Discord channel. With that, hail to you who support this channel and may Thor watches over you. Until next one, take care, stay awesome, i see you in the next one.